is my 1999 Mercedes-Benz G500 Cabriolet. It is one of my favorite cars. And I'm only showing you the front half because when you look at the whole thing, it's rather ugly. It looks like a G-Wagon wearing a toupee, but this is a factory vehicle they made, a two-door G-Wagon with a convertible top. This is a power top. So you just pull a little button and then it goes down, no latches and zippers and anything like that. Mine has a five liter V8. This was my favorite era of the G-Wagon. It was just smooth enough and reliable enough and luxurious enough. It was just a great combo. And by the way, I think that Peterson Museum Cars and Coffee is a fantastic idea. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's cars, all of which will be more attractive than my own. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roy Brett. This is my 40 Mercury $2 sedan. Came out of South Dakota, guy went away to war, didn't come home. And a guy in Southern California did a complete body off with a 302 C4, nine inch rear end, TCI independent frame suspension. And I bought it from a friend in the Packer Club. It, I drive it a lot and I love it. Peterson Automotive Museum. I hear you opened on Friday. Welcome back. This is my 2018 Misano Blue Alfa Romeo Giulia TI Sport all-wheel drive with the five-hole bright 19-inch aluminum wheels, run-flat tires, and we're at Superdog Drive-In in Chicago. I'd like to um, show you the interior of the car and the engine as well and talk a little bit about who got me interested in cars. It was my parents, um, my dad, and in Alfa Romeos. I got interested in Alfa Romeos when my father bought his 1988 Spider Veloce in Alpha Red. So the engine is a four cylinder inline turbo. You can't see all the fun stuff because it's all covered up. Um, 280 horsepower, 2.0 liter, goes from zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds and let's start her up there's a little bit of a heartbeat when you press the button and I want to say happy Father's Day to my dad in Ohio I miss you and I hope to have a road trip soon we all know this story of the car before us. The fall from grace of an automotive icon, a drugs deal gone bad, and of a movie that has made this car an 80s icon. There's one more story of a country at war for more than 20 years, of a young man, me, who knew only bullets and bombs on the evening news. This car and the man behind it gave us all in Northern Ireland a ray of hope. A good news story for the first time. This car offered hope to a people weary of war, a chance to live the dream. This is the DeLorean DMC-12. This is my 1971 Saab Sonnet 3. All fiberglass body, weighs under 2,000 pounds. It has pop-up headlights. Under the hood, you'll find a German-made Ford Taunus V4 engine that produces 65 horsepower. Chromadora wheels is pretty stock. And the owner put in some crushed velvet seats to match the black cherry paint job.
Hi, my name is Jim Richmond. I live in Burbank, California. I'm 68 years old and I just checked something off my bucket list. I bought a 1964 Corvette Stingray. Fully stock, it's beautiful. I bought it in Wisconsin and have had it about three months. I love everything about it and it's in really beautiful shape and everything works on it. Let me show you the inside. I changed all the lenses on all the gauges, which all work. Everything in the car is pretty, fairly pristine. And it's in great shape. Let me open the hood for you, show you what's underneath. It's a 327. 275 horsepower. Let me start it up for you. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to make this video with you. So this here is my dad's 2001 BMW 740i. He's been restoring it. Many hard days have gone to this car to make it look like what it looks like today. I personally really like this car. I am surprising him with this video for Father's Day. And let me show you the interior now because that's where it shines. This here is the interior. If you know what the E38 is, you know not many interiors look like this. This is what the back seats look like. Let me give you guys an exhaust note now. Good morning, Peterson Museum, Global Cars and Coffee. My name is Wade Kawasaki, and I wanted to show you my 2019 Roush Day 3 Mustang. You know, this car started out as an idea, talked to Jack Roush Jr., looking for a daily driver that was track capable, and something that played a little bit of a homage to a racing rivalry. And I think uh, the folks at Roush and Speedcore did a phenomenal job of making that daily driver vision come true. And I wanted to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. Hello, Peter Seven family. This is my 1965 Fiat 1500. Sorry about my English. I got it for almost seven years now. The car was uh, showcasing overhaul in Argentina. Previously it was a uh, like red wine color, then was a light blue and then I put a vinyl on it or about a very nice uh, darker blue. Uh, the interior was nicely done, all is brand new and the engine is a uh, it's from a 2018 Fiat, brand new with fuel injection and all the nice stuff of a new car. It rides very well. Uh, I was with this car all over the country, made like 10,000 kilometers in one trip. Everything went fine. Well, thank you for this opportunity to show my car. Hope you enjoy it. Please follow me on Instagram and YouTube, my new YouTube channel. So thank you for the opportunity to show this car. My name is Evan Nakamura, and this car belonged to my grandfather, George Nakamura. 
It's a 1939 Lakester called the Meteor, and the car's been in my family for over 80 years. The V8 flathead engine and transmission are from a 1937 LaSalle. The car's body is made from aluminum panels from Douglas Aircraft. The steering wheel comes from an airplane also, and the rear tires are from a World War II dive bomber. It's got a top speed of 105 miles per hour in 1940 at Morocco, California. Thank you to Peterson's Cars and Coffee Shop. This is a 1948 Dodge one-ton model D1D that's Bravo One Delta. We purchased it from the original owner's grandson. And it has less than 40,000 original miles and the original paint. One of the things we love the most about it is the interior. It is uh, duly appointed with stainless steel dashboard. And our favorite story is the corn cob pipe of the original owner is still in the sun visor. It will remain a permanent fixture, reminding us of this wonderful man and this beautiful truck. The last planet. That fireball gets the checkered flag. This crew is jubilant. And Roberts, richer by over $24,000, wheels number 22 into the winner's circle. 500 miles at an average speed of 152.9 miles an hour. Here we have one of my art projects, a tribute to racing legend Fireball Roberts in his 1963 Ford Galaxy 500. Good afternoon. This is my Lotus Evora 400 2017. Lovely day. Okay, what we have here is Butch, 1966 Ford F100, named after the original owner. I bought Butch in 2014 from his widow, 
and the name stays with the truck. Of course, you can't do that. Change the name. Interior, as you can see, three on the tree. The original seat covers. Everything looking pretty good for its age. And just taking a walk around to the tailgate. This 1975 Bitter CD, originally painted in a green metallic, is one of 395 cars built in Germany by Eric Bitter between 1974 and 79. Built on a shortened Opel Diplomat chassis, GM supplied the rolling chassis with a 327, 227 horsepower three-speed automatic with an independent rear suspension, four-wheel power disc brakes, power steering, power windows, and air conditioning. Purchased in Germany and delivered to the U.S. in 2010, the video was shot by me 18 months ago when I was inspecting the car for purchase. It is now residing in San Francisco and a restoration is underway. Greetings from Holland. This is my uh, 1994 Peugeot 205. It's my first car and I absolutely adore it. It's, well, of course French, quite rudimentary, but it always starts. There we go. Hello, this is my 1964 El Camino, completely restored three years with a 383 stroker, about 500 horsepower, sapphire blue, lines are perfect, custom interior, we have a red oak rear bed. Thanks for your consideration for this virtual car show. Thank you. 1986 Citroen 2CV modified, one of two built in Switzerland. The front is a copy of a Traction Avant. The back is made into a station wagon. The car is powered by a 2CV, two-cylinder Boxster air-cooled engine with a roller crank. Hemi heads and pistons developing 28 horsepower and 50 pounds of torque. From Arlington, Virginia, this is my Porsche 911 Carrera S. It is uh, from 2009. It's um, got the PDK transmission. It is, I think, what Porsche calls aqua blue. And did a few mods. I did. <laughs> an iPhone adapter so I could stream music and the other modification is on the back I have a New England Patriots bumper sticker. Thanks everyone. This is our 1966 Shelby GT350 serial number SFM Success 289. It was delivered to its original owner Competition Press and Auto Week magazine on November 5th 1965. My parents bought this car in August 1967 for $2,600. It's been a family car for over 52 years. It has a lot of its original uh, components, the original drivetrain, original wheels, Coney shocks, the seat covers that I sat on when I was seven years old, my parents test drove it. It is signed by Carol Shelby, Peter Brock, Bob Bondurant, and Chuck Cantwell. To see more about our family car, please visit our website at 66gt350.com. my 1976 Triumph TR7. This is a Victory Edition model, unique to the North American market only. Sold in 1976. The wheels, vinyl roof, and stripe graphics are part of the package. an all-original car with 41,000 miles. This is a 1996 Toyota MR2 SW20 RAV4. 
It has a 3SGE engine, it's naturally aspirated, it has 173 horsepower and 185 uh, newton meters of torque. As of now, the car is uh, fully stock, so no modifications. And um, I purchased the car uh, very recently, uh, after a period in which it was kept uh, um, standing still uh, in a private collection for roughly five years. Mercedes 10, 190 SL. 25,000 came to the U.S. This is a large window hardtop that was produced in 1959. And Max Hoffman was the importer. Little brother to the 300 SL. Has an optional jump seat. Um, It's a touring car, not necessarily a sports car. I mean, sports car meaning a souped-up engine. My name's Ethan. Here's my 72 Chevelle Malibu four-door hardtop. Looking good. Automatic. 350. Let's see if we can start this puppy up for you. Got a nice cam in there, and she sounds choppy. 1986 3.2 Carrera 911 from Ann Arbor, Michigan. All original, stock, beautiful car. Owned it for two plus years now, and absolutely love it. stock 3.2 liter um, all stock this is our 1955 original 239 wide block with the original four speed granny tranny it's an f350 flatbed with an original flatbed from 1955. The flatbed has been cut shorter and sectioned and then custom made with all this wood and this is the truck. Welcome from Fountain Valley, California. I am a member of Corvettes of Southern California and this is my 2017 Z06. I ordered it with the 3LZ package, engine build experience, buyer's tour, and museum delivery. Here you see my name as the engine builder. The engine was built October 4th, and on October 5th, my wife and I watched as she was being built. She has a two-tone adrenaline red and black interior, and the plaque on the console shows that I did the museum delivery. I hope you enjoyed this video and save the way. All right, this is my 1989 Alfa Romeo Spider Quadrifolio. She's got the four leaf clover. That's what Quadrifolio means. Located here in beautiful, sunny San Diego. She was purchased on Bring a Trailer. I won her. Got the red interior like all quadrifolios have with the gray seats. A little bit of custom work on the inside. Good morning everyone. I'm Big Mike Muniz and you are looking at my 1973 Toyota TE27 Corolla Levin Japanese domestic model running on vintage TRD Tosco wheels. It's a shot of the interior. And the 2TG engine, Yamaha head. Let's give this thing a couple of revs. 
and let's go for a quick drive on this baby. Hello from Ireland. The little car you see before you rolled out of the factory on the 19th of September 1957. She was one of only 300 of her type made and today sadly there are only 21 of her kind left. This is the Messerschmitt KR201. This little lady spent a very pampered life on the island of Jersey off the coast of France and came to Ireland in the mid 1980s. Stripped down and put in boxes for a future restoration by her former owner. I purchased the car six years ago and have spent that time returning her to her former glory. Good for another 63 years. Welcome to Franklin, Tennessee, home of Nissan North America. Here's my 2008 Nissan 350Z Nismo. This is our 2013 BMW 335i convertible, powered with a 3.0 liter, six cylinder turbocharged engine and a six speed manual transmission. The exterior is Lama blue, coupled with the tan interior and the end package. Today I'm going to show you my 1978 Mustang II King Cobra. This is an unrestored survivor car, original striping, still has its 302 V8 with all of its emission controls. This is a factory air car and it is its original paint, striping, and interior. Now when is the last time that you have seen a 78 Mustang II King Cobra in this condition. This is a 61 Volkswagen Volksrad. Started off with just this cab. The truck had rusted in half under the drip edge of a barn. Built a custom frame for it and took it for a maiden voyage in a little less than a year. It's got a mid-engine V8. It's been to a whole bunch of car shows. And this is, uh, this is where it stands now. Hey everyone, my name is Adam and I'm reporting in from Sunrise, Florida with my 2015 Volkswagen GTI. I've had the car for six years now and my overall mission has been to keep it OEM+. Plus. To most people, it's just another VW, but to those who know, they'll pick up on all the details. The highlights include European headlights and taillights, as well as Golf R power folding mirrors and Golf R wheels. I also have a GTI Club Sport S exhaust, it's a very limited European only model, and I'm running a stage one tune from my good friends at MTM, a very well-known tuner out of Germany. Puts the car at about 300 horsepower, coupled with an inventory intake system. On the interior, the centerpiece is a full MIB2 infotainment and active info display retrofit. That's a configuration not offered in the U.S. at all. So it's great to see everyone and their cars on here, and thanks for the feature on mine. Delivery day in 2016 of our 87560 SL. Along with it came a one-inch thick records folder. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. A few days later, we drove the SL to our local garage for tires and some old-school spin balancing. 
finished in pearl black with a burgundy interior. It also has a back seat, heated, manually operated driver's side mirror, climate control, and a Becker Grand Prix radio with a cassette player. It also has fog lights below the front bumper and self-cleaning taillight lenses. This Mercedes-Benz features a 5.6 liter V8 with 238 horsepower. It also has a hard top and a soft top. Obviously, a 1961 TR3, made by Triumph, Coventry, England. Built in May of 1960, registered in 1961. Thanks for having me on uh, Peterson's Cars and Coffee, and don't forget to vote, right? Hello, so two cars to share with you today. Uh, a Peugeot 106 Rally from 1997, a little French car. Let's take a look in the inside. Very basic and sporty. A very fun car to drive. And the other one, bigger one, uh, is a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 from 2008. And this is an RS version. Uh, let's take a look also on the inside of this one and you will see it is also very basic with two bucket seats, Recaro seats, uh, manual gearbox and that's it. And so both these cars are used as daily drivers and track days cars. Bye! Hello, this is my car. It's a 2018 Cayman GTS and I hope you enjoy. Nineteen seventy seven Ford F one fifty Ranger XLT with the big block four sixty. She is pretty much all original. The engine was refurbished prior to me acquiring it. She is fun to drive and gets compliments and looks from all around. So let's uh, close the hood here and go for a little ride. This is my 1969 Camaro SS. I purchased it as my first car in 1987. Originally it was a 396 four-speed car. The car is anything but original now. In 2012, its transition to a pro touring car was completed. The car was the cover for the June 2012 issue of Chevy High Performance. The car has a modern LS engine along with a six-speed Tremec transmission. The motor has been dyno tuned to produce 438 horsepower and 428 pounds feet of torque at the wheels. The suspension has been improved with a Detroit Speed subframe and quadrilink rear suspension. The custom interior features Recaro seats, a custom console and dash with auto meter gauges, and vintage air air conditioning. There's my Estoril Blue 2000 BMW. M Roadster. Top down, San Diego, perfect weather.
the S52 motor that you would find on the BMW M3s of the 90s. This is my 1973 Volkswagen. It's powered by a 1600cc air-cooled engine and it even has a factory 8-track player. All the things came in three colors in 73. White, orange, and my favorite, sunshine yellow. It has four removable side curtains, a fold-down convertible top, and a lay-flat front windshield. It also has a roll bar and it even has four doors that can be removed. I have owned this thing since 1984. That's over 36 years of fun driving in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Florida. Are you looking for a fun car? I think you may have found it. Hi everybody, my name is Mario Fubianchi. I'm from Italy and I'm the happy owner of this pretty rare British car. It's a TVR V8S 1991 made, formerly registered J342 GCA. I bought it in 2013 in Chester, UK, and I registered it in Italy in January 2014. The engine is the famous Rover 4 liters, 240 horsepower and 270 foot pound. Driving is quite demanding, but also very funny, and its V8 has a lovely sound. from Eugene, Oregon, and this is my car, the Beast 68 Ford Mustang Coupe that I've owned since September 1976. It has over 600,000 miles on it. It is my first car, and it has been used in numerous music videos, as well as a movie for TV and several weddings. The most notable music video is the one by Katy Perry, the one that got away. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a very nice day. Nineteen eighty nine Porsche nine twenty eight S four. Thirty year old car, twenty four thousand original miles, original paint even, without a scratch or a swirl mark in. This is what the engine looked like from the factory. Still has the original finish on the intake valve covers. It even has the mythical jump post cover that is usually missing. It's one of the last great GTs ever made, and it is a delight to drive. This is my 1969 Jaguar XKE Coupe. This car was originally black, and we turned it red. The car was completely rotisserie restored. During the restoration, we added the carburation from the earlier Series 1 car and changed a few other minor things under the hood. The car also was upgraded with a Tremec 5-speed, which makes it far more drivable. The XKE Coupe is, for the 60s, probably the best driving car. I hope you enjoyed it. Hello and good morning. This is my 1986 Chrysler Town & Country station wagon. It's a K car. This is the car that helped save Chrysler in the 1980s. Big part of American history. It's in the middle of a full restoration. This is a Florida car that I brought all the way out to California. Got it legal, got it smogged, got it registered. And it's a lot of fun to drive. And I tell you what, it gets a lot of attention everywhere it goes. Good morning, Peterson. This is my 2005 Ducati 749 Dark that I daily ride in Northern California. Here is a clip of me on my Ducati outside of Lassen National Park. My favorite part about the bike is the distinctive dry clutch chatter. Take a listen. You can also follow me on Instagram at ADW Garage for more moto and car content. Happy riding! Stephen here from Melbourne, Australia. 
This is my 1994 E36 M3 in Daytona Violet. Fantastic car on the road and on the track. I loved it so much, I found another one that rolled off the production line 64 cars later and turned it into a track car for me. Welcome to the Time Machine. Built this car back in the 70s. It's a 1923 Ford Model T C cab panel truck. I built it out of fiberglass and wood, powered by a Ford Pino engine, and uh, sold it back in the 80s and bought it back in 2013 from the last owner. Uh, it's my do over hot rod. I still have it and still enjoy driving it around. Thanks. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm nine years old, and this is my 1971 Fiat 500F. Me and my dad look after it, and we have a lot of fun in it. We take it to a lot of shows, and even sometimes I get to drive it. This is my 1961 Corvette, and that's my dad in the car. We just went to a little coffee and cars locally. Um, this car I've owned for about 14 years. It's had many experiences, including our road trip with my dad and I when I bought the car. Uh, my dad has something to say. Wish all the fathers all happy. Father's Day to everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click subscribe, comment, and like for more videos like this one.